What do you think was the hardest part to go from a senior engineer to a staff engineer? It's the hardest part. I mean, there's lots of hard parts. For you as an individual. Yeah, I can, I'll answer that question. I want to start by saying that the, the, the biggest factor is luck. So like, I'm going to talk about a bunch of stuff I did to go from senior to staff, but I, I want to be really clear that like, it's not, you know, you can't really power through it with engineering skill or talent. Like you do have to get lucky. I got lucky twice, but that aside, like what the hardest part about going from senior to staff, I think is having tangible results. So when you go from a mid-level to senior, the work you can point to, 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 to justify that move is work internal to the team. So it's work that your manager already knows about. It's work that engineers are already know, knows about, know wow. about. Um, and it just doesn't have to be that externally impressive. It can be, uh, you did a good job on these like normal team projects. So it's pretty easy to come by. If you want to go from mid-level to senior, you can do it just by like killing the work that people put in front of you and doing a great job on it. Going from senior to, to staff, the people who have to approve that are no longer in your team. They're no longer necessarily in your org. They're higher up the chain or they're at GitHub, for instance, you have to have buy-in from other staff engineers in the org who, who sort of aren't really part of your group at all and don't have technical context on your work at all. So what you need are accomplishments that are legible to those people, which is a very different kind of thing. It requires, to I said earlier, it requires luck. It requires being put on these projects mm. that have visibility across the org. And that's the hard part. It's, it's being put on those mm. projects, doing like a good enough job on those projects, which again is, is partially luck because some projects are just hard to do a good job on. And then it's sort of selling that to the rest of the org. So it's this kind of, you know, you have to have two or three times where you have been put on a piece of work that is important and is visible. And you need to be able to talk about that in a way that the people making the decision on your promo packet have already heard about it. And they see it in your packet and they think, oh yeah, that's right. Like Sean did do a really good job on that. And that's, that's not easy. And getting on, getting on high visibility projects. I mean, that's that in itself, you know, like for, 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 for you as an individual, even if you did get lucky, I'm sure you had some kind of path that you were at least trying to carve out for yourself to get on high visibility projects. What, what would say, what, what would you say was like your approach to just getting on high visibility projects? Well, there's, there's two, there's two components to it. The first is mm -hmm. that it absolutely has to be deliberate. You have to be like trying to do it, which means that you have to uh, talk to your manager. Basically your manager has to be on site and your manager has to be looking out for these opportunities because these high visibility projects, mm -hmm. when they come up in the org, typically they're kind of shopped around and then managers nominate people to go and to go and work on them. So you have to be like, you and your manager have to be on the same page about this before those conversations happen. So your manager knows that they can put yep. you in the ring. The other half of it is like more like technical. You have to do a good enough job in general that you have like a strong engineering reputation enough because for these yeah. like for these high visibility projects a lot of the time uh, there's this kind of word of mouth going on where engineers are like oh can you get me this person from this group who i've worked with before they're yeah. really good and that 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 really just depends on like how you're seen like technically in the org which is you know difficult to build up build up that reputation